Hi, this is Keith Everett, and this is video one, the overview video to the Killer Camtasia course. Now, let's get cracking straight into it. Here we are at Camtasia Studio, and you can get Camtasia Studio on a 30-day free trial from techsmith.com. That's T-E-C-H smith.com. Now, let's talk about recording the screen, first of all. We come up to the top left here and you can see here where it says record the screen. When I click on that, what happens is this smaller screen comes up in the bottom right hand corner. Now the only difference is you will have a big red button here on the right which says record. Okay, but because I'm already recording this, you can't see that red button. Now this is the duration of the recording this is the audio so you can see that's moving as I'm speaking delete key pause key stop key now you can also use your keyboard to pause that's F9 F for Freddy 9 and if you click F9 again that will start recording and you can also click F10 and that will stop recording so that's recording the screen now obviously you need a screen to record Okay, now here we've got a screen. This is Fiverr.com, quite a well-known site. And just for uh, demonstration purposes, what you can do when you see that small screen, which is in the bottom right-hand corner, before we start recording, there will also be two options on it. One is to uh, record the entire screen, everything you see on the screen, or you can customize the size of what you want to record. So for instance, you may just want to set it to record just around the edge of this particular site. You may want to do that. Okay, so that's a brief overview on recording the screen. We're obviously going to go into that in a lot more detail. Now the next thing I want to cover is the timeline stroke storyboard. Now, often people think the storyboard and the timeline is the same thing. It is in the same place, but it's not exactly the same thing. Let me just explain the difference between the two. First thing is the timeline, which is down here. You can see me running across the timeline. Now, the timeline consists of several tracks that you can add. You can add video one, which is your first video track. You can add audio one, which is your first audio track, which would accompany your screen recording. So in other words, if you're speaking at the same time as recording, your video track will go here at the top, your audio track will go here below. Now supposing you wanted to add some music, that would create another track. So we would call that audio 2 track, which would form below here. Now also you can edit your video in this timeline. You can do all kinds of things in this timeline. You can add transitions. I'll explain this in a minute. You can add uh, different clips, pictures. You can add uh, pieces of clips of videos. And you can add music, of course, as we just said. So the timeline is very useful for editing all those little intricate details. Now, what's the difference between the timeline and the storyboard? Well, to view, and we look at storyboard. Storyboard is the pictorial version of the timeline. In other words, it gives us a clear indication of how our story is going. And in between some of the clips on the storyboard, we can add things like transitions, which are visible ways of going from one scene to another. So the storyboard is a more visual way of how your video is progressing, whereas the timeline is a more technical way of how your video is progressing. That's the best way I can describe those two things. 
Now let's go on to creating cursor and zoom and pan effects. Now as I say this is only a brief video, it's just to give you an overview of what we're doing. So first off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you some of the other effects that we can use. Now in order to do some of this I'm going to need to import a video into this timeline here and I do that simply by clicking on import media and clicking on the video that you want to import to the timeline. Now remember what I said, that can be a video, that can be a soundtrack, that can be clips of other videos, it can be, um, it can, it can be an image. But I've, I've imported this video. Now I simply drag it down to video one, which is part of the timeline. Now it's asking me what I want to produce here. So for the purposes of this video that I'm making, I'm going to produce this in an 800 times 450 dimension nice big video okay so let's get back to what we were talking about so let's get back to the zoom and pan and cursor effects now first off let's go for the cursor effects where it says more I just click on cursor effects here that brings up this screen and it's asking me what size do I want the cursor so in other words I can drag this across and increase the size of the cursor I can also highlight the cursor which is a favorite trick of mine I particularly like that highlighting effect and I can have other effects once the, either the left mouse buttons clicked or the right mouse buttons clicked you can do either of those things you can see the effect there now you can also add the sound click of a true mouse click if you want to okay that's a very brief overview on the cursor effects. Now what I want to do is very quickly go through the zoom and pan. I'm clicking on zoom and pan here and as you can see this screen is a carbon copy of this screen. So as we're running our video and we're editing, what I'm doing here is I can zoom and pan in and out by simply dragging the screen in. You can see on the right hand screen how that is changing the look of the video. You can drag, you can stretch and you can pull this screen around anywhere you like to create a zoom and pan effect. Okay, So that zoom and pan. Now the next thing I'm going to go over is the call out section. So let me just click on call outs here and as you can see there's all these different designs that we can choose. Now what exactly is a call out? Well a call out is something we place over the video when we're making the video to uh, call people's attention to a specific part of the video. So in other words, if I, w if I want to say, for instance, add a call out here, I know we wouldn't put it here, but I can put some text in this box. I can have this uh, box the same color as the background. I can take this border away. There's all kinds of effects I can use by doing call outs. I can do blurred effects, in other words I can blur out the information on the screen. I can have a picture, uh, picture call out which would place a picture from my computer into a call out. I can just have appearing on the screen or disappearing from the screen at will as and when. So call outs are very important, especially when you're doing instructional videos. You might want to have a call out which is an arrow like this. So we can have an arrow pointing to a specific part. Can you see the way I'm dragging it around the screen? And I can do all kinds of things. I can have a fill color, different fill colors like this. I can take away the border and create these, these really good effects. And I can have these effects coming in and out of the video at will. Now last but least I want to go over transitions, okay, very briefly. Transitions are effects in between scenes. They are effects that you can just drag and drop into the storyboard to make your video look a lot more professional. So in other words we can have fade outs, we can have wipes, we can have um, flips. I'm just going to show you that briefly. Now in order to have a transition we have to have somewhere in the video to place it and in order to do that we need to have a split in the video timeline that's the video timeline now you can create a split just by here clicking on split and that will split your video so you can place a transition so you come up to tools click on transitions and then we can add 
and, a, and an effect. So let's say, for instance, I want to add this flip. I just drag here in between these two scenes on the storyboard, and that will create a specific effect. So let me just show you how that effect looks. There it is on the right-hand screen. That's the effect of a flip transition. Now I'm going to show you lots, lots more throughout the course. So get ready. Let's get down and do some killer videos. I will see you in video two.